Now, as I said, another EFC event is upon us, and this time it's EFC 79 at Carnival City this Saturday at, or rather, on the East Rand. Now, live in studio, we're joined by the event's headline pair, and that would be the EFC champion, Ike Gabesa, and, of course, the challenger, Carlo Caput, all the way from Croatia. Now, welcome, guys. Afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Let me start off with you, champ. You've got a very impressive, very great 11-1 and one fight record, but then so does your opponent. He's actually undefeated. What you know about him? What have you seen about him? I've seen a couple of fights and I think he's, he's a good fighter. You know, um, I give all props to him for taking the fight. You know, it's hard for me to take, get any fights. You know, I'm coming out of retirement, basically. <laughs> but yeah, man, props, man. I think, um, I think he's very good. He's got good hands. I mean, he's a good fighter, yeah. Okay. And in terms of you, Carlo, um, you haven't faced anybody outside of Eastern Europe. In fact, you've faced one guy from Ukraine and most of the other fighters from the Balkans. Um, just in terms of your adjustments that you'll have to make in terms of this fight, how's that going to be for you? For me, every fight is the same. Every fight is fight for me. Uh, last fight I do in Russia and against Russian guys. So this is similar thing. I am ready for this. I training a lot. And this is a big thing for me. EFC looks v very professional and that's it. And just talk us through um, the fight scene, the MMA scene in, in Croatia and generally in, in Eastern Europe. In Eastern Europe, uh, we have good uh, MMA uh, teams, MMA fighters, but uh, not too much good organization. This organization is really, really big. 100%. Yes, well, yes. That's actually a compliment from Carlo. Now, just in terms of your own fight record, you finished 6 out of 11, which is quite impressive. How does this fight end for you? Well, you know, like when I go to a fight, for me, I, I tell myself I'm going to go there and, and work on whatever I've been working on at the gym. So something new is about to come up. It's not something you've seen. Mm -hmm. So there's something that I've worked on. I've all, I'm always trying to grow. So, well, if I, if I have to say, man, I have to work on what I've been, if I have to use what I've been working on, it's going to be very short. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just ask you on that point. Um, you said like you, you, you like to grow, you like to add new facets to your game. So if you're taking on a grappler, will you then work on grappling? If you're taking on a striker, you'll maybe try and up your striking game? If no, working, so basically what we do is we work on everything every day. Mm. So we train all aspects every day. What I, when, I, when, I, when I say new things, I mean like for in terms of when it comes to wrestling, I know an old grip and I take that grip and I work on it mm. and I build something new onto that. So there it goes for grappling, for stand-up, my movements, everything that has to do with fighting, I add something new into whatever it is. So it can be a jab from all the times, but it can be a jab from any other angle worked on nowadays style, mm. you understand? So that's, how, that's what I mean by growing as an athlete. I don't just say I'm gonna go to train and I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I've been doing all the years. I go there, do the exact same thing, but just add something new to it. And basically try and give your new opponent a yeah. new look, a and new you, angle. Yeah, so when I get in there, when you look at me fight, it's, it's not the same guy anymore. It's always something, it's always growth. Which is gonna be a problem for your opponent. Let me get to your opponent <laughs> now. Carlo, you're unbeaten and you've also finished you know, six out of eight fights. Just in terms of your research on the champion, um, what do you need to do to finish the fight early? I don't know. Uh, I will give my best, you know. Uh, I, I training hard and everything, so I'm ready for everything, for uh, finish, for wrestling, for uh, jiu-jitsu, for everything. I do everything and that's it. Spoken like a true freestyle fighter. Just lastly, um, why does Carlo, coming from Eastern Europe, deserve a title shot in under 20 seconds? <laughs> um, Look, I mean, I respect everybody that takes on fights because that's what we're here for. And um, to, truth to be told, like anybody deserves to fight. You know, it just depends on if you're willing to take the fight. There's a lot of guys that could have taken the fight. There's a lot of guys that turn down fights. And if you take on fights, man, big ups to you. And I mean, I'm just ready to rumble. 100%. That's, of course, the EFC featherweight champion, Ige Gabesa, and, of course, the challenger. He's known as the Croatian cowboy, Carlo Caput. Now, they'll be the main draw card at the EFC 79 event. That's happening Saturday evening on the East Rand Carnival City, to be exact. And, of course, you can catch the weigh-ins on Friday afternoon. And that's what these gentlemen will be focusing on now, is cutting down weight so they can actually fight. That's where we leave your sports. Time now to go to weather.